morning, so. Hi, Ashley. Hi. We're gonna be working today on using the quad cane. Okay. It's the first time using this? Yep. Okay. All right, so how you doing today? Uh, you know, a little weak. A little weak. A little well, tired. we're definitely going to be working on that some today, okay? Mm -hmm. But I want to go ahead and actually get this gate belt on you before you get out of the chair. So okay. if you can just lean forward for me. Thank you. <laughs> Look at us awkwardly. I'm going to back up. Well, okay. Not too tight. No, it's good. I'm no, just a little fluffy, laughing. so you can fight <laughs> it. <if you> <laughs> Manifest in other ways. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, do you remember Reflection what you need to do to actually <laughs> get into a position to rise from your chair? Uh, kind of. Kind of. Well, we're actually going to go over that in a second. I think I'm going to go ahead and show you what you're going to be doing with a quad cane before you actually come out of the chair. Okay. So again, this is called a quad cane. It's got mm -hmm. four points on the bottom. It's designed to give you a lot of stability. So what you want to think about is having this side, which we call the more narrow side, between the handle with the, the rod with the handle and the prongs closer to you. Okay, and that's going to help as you come forward that you don't actually kick the cane. So it helps with that foot clearance. So you're going to be leading with the cane. So the cane's going to come out first, and then right now you're having that right side weakness. So you're going to come forward with the right side and then step with the left. So everything's moving separately for right now. So cane, right side, left side. So I'm gonna have you do that all the way up to the curb. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you're going to navigate a curb. Do you have any questions about this so far? Some things I do want you to think about, and I'll be monitoring this as you go through today, is not leaning so much on this side that you're actually bringing this left shoulder up. You want to try to keep it level. Okay. okay. And avoid leaning forward. So when you approach the curb, I want you to get as close to the curb as you possibly can. And you're actually going to come up with the cane first. And we have a saying that says, up with the good. So we're referring to your stronger leg right now as your good leg. So that means you're going to step up with that left leg. So left leg comes up, then right. And then you'll do cane, right side, left side, cane, right side, left side. Now going down is going to be different. This time you are going to start with the cane and make sure it's touching the curb. You don't want there to be a lot of space between the cane and the curb. And you're going to come down with your weaker side. So the right side comes down first, and you can lean to the left side a bit. So that right leg comes down, and then the left leg will follow. Okay? Is that making sense? You know, you're about to do it, so <laughs> we'll clear some things up as you go, okay? But when you're rising, I'm going to actually have this on the left side because you're going to be walking with it on your left side. So what I'd like for you to do is to scoot forward in the chair. And then if you could, move your feet underneath. <coughs> there you go. We're going to keep those flat. Keep kind of a wide base of support there. Okay. So you're going to lean forward a bit. And on the count of three, I want you to press into the arm of the wheelchair on the left. Do you think you can press with this right hand at all on this right armchair? No, I can't move no? this arm. Okay. So... Press into the left armchair, and then I want you to press into the floor with both of your lower extremities. I know the right side's a little bit weak, but we want to work on strengthening that. So use the left side more, but still use that right side some too, okay? okay. So you're going to come to a standing position, and then you can hold on to the cane, okay? All right. So on the count of three. One, two, and three. Okay. You can take hold of that cane. Okay, so do you remember what I said about what you would move first to begin walking. My foot? Nope. It's actually going to be the cane. Okay. And then which foot would go next? Yes, very good. So right side, <coughs> left side. So then what would be? This is a modified four-point gait pattern. Right side, left side. Good job. So cane. Oh, got to do the cane first. Give you the greatest stability. 
No, very good. Right side, left side. Okay. Right side, left side. Keeping those shoulders nice and level. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just think about it. Good job. You can keep See, going. That's the kind of PTA I would. <laughs> Oh, so right side, left side. That's okay, it takes practice. Right side, left side. So come as close to that curb as you can. Oh, wow, okay, it's a little bit closer. There you go. <laughs> All right, so now we're there. So what do you think is gonna go up first on the curb? Uh, my foot. Oh, nope, so technically you could bring up that, that stronger leg, but I think right now I want you to do the cane first. And then, what was that saying I just mentioned? Up, up with, with the good. Yes. So we're calling that left leg the good leg right now. Then the right. Very good. Okay, so try not to lean forward too much. What's that? You're going to play that in line. No. I don't think it's coming online. Hmm? No, that's what he told me. Okay, so you're resuming that cane, right leg, left leg. So I want you to come a little closer to the edge. Oh, no. So remember, cane first. Then, excuse me, right leg. Left leg. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so coming down, try not to lean forward too much. Um, what would go down first? The cane. The cane, yes. So go ahead and put that down and keep it close to the curb. Can you back it up just a little bit? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty picky. Okay, so then what was the saying now? What's down first? Down with the bad. bad or weak. So you're going to step down with that right leg. Really brace yourself. No, brace yourself on that cane, though. Good job. It's okay. We're working on getting you stronger. So are we going to go to that curb or go steps. steps? Okay. So you're going to. I've gotten the hang of this, and I told you you're going to take pretty good at the steps. Okay. Okay. So cane, right, left. Oh, wow. Speed demon here. <laughs> but since she's walking so quick. Maybe modify the gate a little bit. I would do that. Okay. So what would that turn into? That would be a modified two point. Okay. So you're going to be moving the cane with the right side. This way? Yes. So cane goes forward, right side goes forward. Excellent. Left foot forward. So cane and right together. Oh, so back that up. That's okay. So cane and right together, then left. Cane and right together, then left. And she does not even need a break. So you go right to the steps and just see her through them. Okay. So Ashley, we're actually going to be coming over here. So if you can make that turn. Mm -hmm. You're doing really well. That was a big turnaround. Uh, <laughs> I had a Mountain Dew today. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's working really well for you. So should I have her sit or no? Nope. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to be talking you through this then instead of demonstrating. So in this case, you're going to do the same thing that you did on the curb with the stair. Okay? okay? So right now we're not going to worry about a handrail. We're going to work on developing that right arm strength before we really are concerned with that. So it's going to be the cane and just your lower limbs. Okay? okay. So the cane is going to go first and then going to go ahead and turn that. Oh, okay. So I think it might actually be best if you turn it so that the side with all the red on it is closer to you. Maybe maybe give you a little more support. Okay. Okay, and then we want to make sure it's not going to block that left leg. Okay. So can we take it off to the side just a little bit? There you go. But always supported by the step. Okay, so what would go up first? The good. The good. Yep. So that's the left. Good job. So cane left okay takes practice left right cane left right cane left and right so try not to lean forward quite so much for me there you go okay <laughs> i want i want the curve <laughs> <laughs> this is just a lot of curves strung together okay so coming down I'm here to support you, but just try to stay upright. What's going to go first? What would give you the best ability? The foot. No? 
how about how about the cane? The cane, and then <laughs> which foot's gonna go next? The bad foot. The 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 weaker side. So you can step with that right, then left. Okay, cane. Right, left. So cane. Right, left. You got one more. You're doing so well. Cane. Right, left. So you're going to want to go ahead and adjust the cane again. Excellent. Okay. So where are we headed? Back to the chair. All right, Ashley. Excellent. Do you like this <laughs> this one better? You gonna get around a little faster doing it this way? I'm gonna beat all the other people in the <laughs> competition can be a good thing. Okay, so I want you to come to a point where you can actually feel the chair against the backs of your legs. So just step back with the right, the left, as close as you can. So in this case. I would normally tell you to lean back with the, uh, the left hand, but what I want you to do is really brace yourself with your, with your legs. You're going to use a lot of lower body strength here. Try to go slowly. You're going to keep your hand there until you're starting to drop, and I want you to go ahead and bring that left arm back to the arm of the chair. <laughs> there you go. And over time, you'll be able to actually use that right side more to help brace that. But that was great. How'd that feel? Fabulous. Yeah. You did very well.